Hey guys, it is Jenna What Is Up and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing just a one day vlog, but I want to tackle a bunch of things in the kitchen. Basically, I want to organize the pantry as well as the spice cabinet. And then there are two things that I've been putting off for a very long time and that is switching the light fixture for the kitchen as well as connecting the like venting for our overhead um i forget what it's called like the stove venting what is that called i'll put it right here it, i'm blanking but before we do get into that i do quickly want to give a shout out to a video over on the board game garden i am actually working with jam city and i'm doing a sweepstakes so if you are a board game person then definitely go check that out and it's really really easy to enter all you have to do is use my link down in the description that will get you to go and download harry potter hogwarts mystery which is a fantastic phone app where you are a student at hogwarts and you're going through and taking classes and meeting people having relationships different things just living your Harry Potter magical life. So yeah, all you have to do is use the link in my description to download that, get to year one, chapter seven, and then send me a screenshot of that over on my Instagram, which is just at Jenna Rose Beasley, and you will be entered in to win a copy of either Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle or Harry Potter House Cup Competition, which are two Harry Potter themed board games that I've heard a lot of amazing things about. So if you guys wanna go do that, definitely go check out that video over on the Board Game Garden. Huge thank you to Jam City for working with me. And I absolutely love Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. I've been playing it on my phone. And yeah, so that is everything for the intro. I am going to head over to the dollar store because I wanna see if they have any um, spice jars. I really want to maybe make some labels myself because obviously I am a sticker maker so I feel like I could make my own. I've made my own for my cinnamon jar on the coffee bar so I feel like if I just make it the same as that and just make them for all of the spices that we have, use some dollar store jars, hopefully they have some Fingers crossed. I have seen like some on Amazon, but I would rather get them just from the dollar store. So we're gonna head over there, see if they have those. We're gonna organize the spice rack. We're gonna organize the pantry. The pantry is a actual disaster. <laughs> and then we're finally going to tackle all of the small things that I've been meaning to do in the kitchen. So without further ado, if you guys want to see me tackle a bunch of different things in the kitchen, just keep on watching and let's get into today's vlog. So we are back from the dollar store and this is what I came back with. Um, I found these spice jars. I really wish, I've seen on the internet some dollar stores having like wood topped spice jars and they look very cute, but my dollar store did not have them. So these are the next best thing. I do really like these and I think it'll be really nice to have the label on the top so we can see it from the top and then the label on the front. So. These are smaller ones just for spices that we don't have as much of. And then there's the bigger ones here that will be for spices that we have quite a bit of. Um, these were $1.50 and then these were $1.25. So I ended up spending like $20. And then we also got this Pyrex measuring cup because we have like a three set, but they're kind of getting a little bit old and they like 
have rubber on the sides and they're like nesting and they always get stuck to each other which is kind of annoying so this was $3.50 and we also got a Nespresso delivery so I think I'm going to do that first and then what I need to do with these is I actually need to measure and then tonight I think I'm going to make some labels I don't know if I'll show you guys making maybe I will um, but I'm going to make labels that tr I'm going to try to make labels that fit this perfectly um, and then we'll have like a little one on the front as well. Um, I think I want to make the labels kind of similar to my cinnamon here. See, this is like the, the size that I was looking for, but unfortunately they didn't have anything like this. But I kind of want to make a label for my cinnamon as well. But this is what this looks like. It's just simple. Obviously the smaller jars aren't going to be as big, but... Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I actually did not even like count how many spices we had to put in jars. So I got six of each of them. Hopefully that's enough. Um, and yeah, let's open this first and then we'll get to actually, we're gonna replace the top light in here and then the overhead venting, I'm gonna work on that as well today. And then I think we'll get to the spices and the organization of the spice drawer as well as the pantry tomorrow.
that was so painful. My forearms are on fire. Okay, let's see if it works. Francis for this part. <laughs> Is that it? It's just those tools? Yeah. Hello friends, what is up and welcome back to the next day of this video. Um, last night I did wash all these and then just now I'm just trying to get off the last little bit of the stickers on the bottom. I sprayed a little bit of Goo Gone, I believe it is, and I'm just letting it to sit for a little bit and then I will wipe those off. But I figured while we were waiting for that, we could start doing the stickers on the top. Um, you guys saw this morning that I went ahead and designed them. I started designing them last night and then finished them this morning. And then I went downstairs, printed and cut them, and we now have some sheets of some stickers. So I decided to do the top ones, so that's what we're going to be sticking on the tops, and then the fronts. I kind of made a little bit like trendy, you see them on like Pinterest where it's like number zero one, garlic powder, all natural. <laughs> Um, I didn't actually put the all-natural part, but I put like what it was, if it's an herb, if it's a spice, or if it's a blend, or if it's a seasoning or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. I still need to do the venting. That might not end up being in this video, um, because I think today is the last day that I'm gonna work on this video, and then I'm gonna try to edit it tomorrow. Um, but, uh, what else was I gonna say? We still need to organize the pantry, which I think that'll be pretty quick. I just need to tidy it up, um, look at things, see if there's anything that is expired and stuff like that to get rid of some things and just tidy it up. Cause I feel like I have designated shelves in the pantry, but I, I, things are getting a little bit disheveled in there, if you will. So let's start with all of these. I will say that we, don't have too many spices and I want to start bringing in some more because I want to start doing more cooking at home so um, these are the ones that we have right now there are some that we do need to get um, more of um, like we're almost out of paprika we're completely out of curry powder which we use a lot of that because um, we love making like chicken katsu curry and we like to make like a chicken um, Filipino curry so yes we love that 
Um, but typically when we do make chicken katsu curry, we, we use like the curry like tabs, but the Filipino one needs the curry powder. But anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. We're gonna quickly put all of the labels on the tops, rinse and clean off the stickers on the bottom of these. And then we'll do the front labels, get into organizing the spice drawer, and then we will get to the pantry. And then if I have time, I will do the stove, but that might have to wait for another video. Maybe I'll do it just in a vlog or something. It's honestly not gonna take that long. Um, we are going to Francis' parents' house tonight because his dad is currently um, away for work and his mom is alone at the house. So we wanted to go visit her and have some dinner with her and stuff like that. So anyways, let's get into sticking some stickers, which I'm very excited about. So I'm officially done with putting all of the stickers on the jars. You have the front there and then you have the top and we have six large ones and six small ones. These are all of the different spices and stuff. There are some here that I'm just going to be getting rid of and we also have our bagged spices over there. I'm hoping that with me doing this I'll be able to start getting all of the spices from like the bulk barn um, to save on like wasteful packaging and stuff so I'm hoping to be able to do that. We live really really close to a bulk barn so that's awesome but for now I'm going to set you guys up and we are going to fill all of the spice jars.
So I'm thinking I'm going to put all of the nicely jarred ones up at the top. Um, I did actually go ahead and put a little sticker on the bottom that says the best before dates for the ones that I know of. Um, the paprika, it's pretty much already gone. We need to get um, some restocks of the paprika, the curry powder, and the garlic powder. Those are all ones that I need to get more of but for the other ones i put the best before dates on them and i think i'm gonna do the big guys in the back i'm gonna try to do it in like alphabetical order maybe so those will go there and then we have the small ones which two will not fit I'm trying to think if I want to do it like that or if I want to continue them centered. And I do know that these smaller ones are like very small, but to be honest, all of the spices that I put into these six, we don't use that often. The like taco seasoning, paprika, curry, garlic powder, chili powder, and basil, those are like the ones that we use quite a bit. I maybe in the future want to get a few more of the big ones um because i do like to have what's the other one that i like to have on hand parsley sometimes um and even like onion powder and i think i would be able to fit another big one in here so i will say that our our butter used to go in here but I think I might just keep this on our countertop. It might actually be a little bit easier to access it for when we're using butter, because I do find it a little bit annoying to have to open this every time I get butter out, so or I need to use butter, so um, that is fine. But this will be for all of the, the nice looking spices, and then I am gonna use the second shelf for um, like additional ones that we need to use up, as well as the ones that um, Francis usually buys like chicken rub and different things like that. Okay, so I think this is the finished product of the pull-out spice rack. I really love the way this top shelf looks. It looks so nice. I will actually show you guys like a uh, upwards view of it, um, kind of like you would be standing at the oven, but very happy with this. Um, and then we just have like the leftovers down there. Um, if I ever have any leftovers of other things, then I'll put them down there. And Francis can put all of his different um, chicken spices and rubs and stuff down there, but any of like the mandatory, often used spices will go up here. The fridge just started making noise, but that is it. Okay, let's move on to the next task. This is the current pantry. I have not done any organization whatsoever. And this is currently what it is looking like. It's a little bit of a disaster, I'm not gonna lie. And I've kind of forgotten what is in some of these or what are what is on some of these shelves. So I think it's time to start organizing this a bit. I don't have like a ton of time I have about half an hour, so let's do a quick little reorganization of the pantry to end off this video, and that'll be it. So let's do this.
and here is the finished, mostly organized pantry. Honestly, we had a ton of stuff, especially up in like our baking stuff that was expired or just things that have gone bad. So I was very, very happy that I actually went through all this. I originally wanted to get these cereals out of this area because I wanted this area to, to be just for appliances, but unfortunately, there's no possible way for me to get these <laughs> onto one of these shelves because they're just too um, high or too tall. So yes, this is our snack shelf. We have like a bunch of different snacks in the basket, some like peanut butter pretzels, some Turkish delight cereals down there. And then these are all of our breakfast things like granolas and oatmeals and pancakes. We have honey, peanut butter, some sun-dried tomatoes back there, panko, breading, um, some like curry stuff. I discovered that we don't have like a ton of food in our house. It's very odd. I feel like we typically just go to the grocery store to buy things that we're going to make right away. So there's not a ton of like stuff sitting in our pantry, if that makes sense. Um, Francis does a lot of like meal prepping. So he like buys chicken, buys vegetables, and then immediately um, eats them. And then like rice sometimes on the side. Um, I like to have some like canned stuff. So these are all of like my soups, um, sloppy joe mix. We have some random corn. Um, and then we just have some pasta, rice, and then all the baking stuff at the top. So that is the finished organized pantry. I apologize if I'm looking awful today, but it was just like a lazy day. I was getting some work done, did not have time to get myself ready. But um, yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I did a few things in the kitchen. These are things that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, organize the pantry, organize the spice drawer. Um, we finally did the light. I'm gonna admit, I don't love it. So I'm thinking I might actually try to just deep clean the one we had before because I liked the one that we had before and I liked the direct light because it had like three different lights that you could point in different directions. So I really enjoyed that. It was just that it's so dirty and so disgusting. So I want to deep clean it, see if I can get it clean and then hopefully put that back up. I'm not like in love with this. Please let me know what you guys think of it. Um, but basically it was Josie and Joel's, um, Francis's sister and brother-in-law. They got it in the mail from Wayfair and it was broken. Two of the like glass parts of it broke, and, like completely shattered. So basically it's supposed to be all encapsulated in glass, but two of them are missing. So it looks a little bit weird where like you can kind of see into it on some places, but not others. Um, I don't know. I don't really love the lighting that it gives either in the kitchen. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I think I'm going to try, like I said, to clean the old one, put that one back up, see if that looks better. But yeah, anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. I love chatting with you guys there. Subscribe if you have yet to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.